Hello. I'm sorry I'm running a bit late, but you're kind of early. Oh, that's okay. You must be really excited, so that's good. How are you? I'm okay. Give you my business card. There you go. Okay, I'm just going to set up over here. I'm Erica, and I'll be your makeup consultant today. Okay, so... you tell me um, your name please I really like that name okay so you just you're a beginner okay so I think today we'll go over just just the beginning for beginners so we're just going to do a simple look like your eyes your blush some foundation and your lips okay. so first of all how did you hear about me or this place a friend okay. Great. Okay, you want to get started? Okay, let's put my notes over here. I'm going to go ahead and enter you in my laptop over here. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to show you the brushes that you'll be using. And also a little diagram of how to apply it. And then I'll apply it. So, let's go over here to the brushes. Okay, so here are the, my brushes. And for the, um, the eyeshadow for your lid, we are going to use this lid brush. Okay. It's just a standard brush. And... For the crease, we are going to use this slanted one. Hey, it's got kind of a slant to it. And then for your highlight, you could just clean this off and use it. It doesn't really matter. But those are the two we will be using, okay? And this right here is the blending brush, so you can apply all of it. Alright, so you can blend it all together. It's the key. It's a very important brush to have. Okay. And that's it for the eyes for now. I hope you can see this. We are going to be working on the eyes and first thing is the lid color. Oops. So, put the lid. The lid color. And the lid is right here. Okay. Right here. I'm gonna go ahead and fill that in with a color. Say we'll do like a light brown. So you're gonna take your brush and you're just gonna fill that in. It's 
filled in right there. And then we're going to move on. We're going to move on to number two. And that is going to be the crease. <laughs> so the crease is the section right here where there's a little fold on your eye where it indents. Here. So that is right here. The take. I'm just gonna outline it in black so you can see. One, two, black. Right there is inside the crease of the eye. Okay. Oops. A darker brown so I'm going to make that shade darker and go ahead and like so okay and then you can blend it out so it doesn't look cut crease like that but and when you get more advanced you're going to put an even darker color in the V Right here, on the eye. Okay, oh, right here, sorry. And you can also put a highlight color in there if you'd like. And then the last thing that we will be going over is here below the brow bone. Now I just drew her eyebrows really thin just to show you but just right under it right? okay that's not perfect but you're going to take I'm just going to use this yellow as the highlight but which you just put it there and you can blend it all together into this right there into that just blend it right under the eyebrow and her eyebrows might be like right here and then you just do the highlight underneath the eyebrow okay Okay, now we're going to do the eyeliner real quick and we're going to just to do going to just show you how to do it above the eye and I'm going to pick like a blue color because so, it's already in black <clears throat> Sorry. so you can see so, as you see that it follows around the top of the eye. Just a thin line to outline. Okay, I'll show you how to do that. I'll do the other eye real quick. Do it with a, a brighter color so you can see better, maybe. Okay, so it just goes around the eye. And in our advanced class, you will learn how to tie a line, and we will go over the bottom, so. Okay, so, we will go ahead and apply it, this stuff to you right now. Okay. I'm gonna grab the crease brush, which I'm going to apply the lighter brown right here. Get it pretty full. Okay. Go 
close your eyes, please. Okay, so let's go ahead and pat it on there like that. Okay. to take the crease brush it's a little slanted it has a little slant to it like I showed you I'm going to take the darker color over here and you're going to pat that on I'm going to put that in your crease close your eyes Put it in your crease, not too far up, and just kind of blend. Or just, well, you can just place it right now. Yeah, okay. Okay, the other eye. Thank you. Also do the highlight real quick. Let's go ahead and doesn't really matter. Okay. Under the brow bone. Under the brow. to take your blending brush and find my blending brush take your blending brush okay sorry and we are going to blend it really well so it doesn't look uh, look um, like harsh okay so please close your eyes again thank you blending so just keep blending it sometimes it takes a while I'm gonna do the other eye depending on the Okay. 
be a little tricky but a little bit tricky but just take your time and practice you should get it pretty good okay it takes a lot of practice but just go slow okay and it looks equal. Let me see. Let me see what it is. Go ahead and take track the leg. Hello. Go back to me. Go ahead and take that sample. Should last you for a while. Okay, so. The last thing that we will be doing is the mascara. And I got some right here. This is a good brand that you can use for your That looks pretty good. That is it for your eyes. So I guess we can move on to foundation. Yeah. Yes, I can help you pick out a shade, which I can do that now, actually. than that. See that color? It's too dark. Let's try the beige 300. It's too dark. 302. Um, 
one, two, three, three, or four. I think you are three or four in beige. So we can get you that color and apply it. I'll show you what we're going to use for the brush. Um, for the brush on the foundation. For since we're using this liquid, or since this is for liquid, this brush right here. See that it's kind of round and flat. So that's for your foundation liquid and and then for your under eye concealer for your blemishes. I would recommend this brush right here. Oops. It's just pretty much Solid one, and then for powder, you can go ahead and use a powder brush if you want. I will not be showing you how to put powder on because I don't have my powder in today. But after your foundation, you just set it with some powder. We went all over the face, so I'm going to show you. There you go. See how it's all over the face and the neck and into the hairline. That will help you. Okay. So it just goes on here, here, and everywhere. Okay. Apply it to you and show you. Okay, so now that you know where to apply it, I shall apply it to you with the brush. Put it on my palette over here. your eyes real quick. Get it on. Oh wait, don't close your eyes. Sorry. On your face, your chin, cheeks. Don't forget your hairline so it's blended really well. Okay. And down the neck. And sometimes the ears. They're like really red or something. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and blend it. Like blending's the key to makeup. You don't want harsh lines. Cause that doesn't look good and it looks cakey. Forget the nose. Like a 
flawless finish. concealer if you would like under your eyes but it's not really necessary but you want to try it yeah okay you don't really have blemishes too much but you can use this to um cover your blemishes too so let's go ahead if then this should um work so we'll try it Under your eyes, so kind of look up. Once you get mastered at this, or you're too good at this, you can take our second class, and it's more detailed, it's more advanced. Okay, so I'm just gonna do one spot that I see. Go ahead and blend that in really well. Like I said, blending's the key. this brush for blush or whatever, whatever blush you prefer because I think I'm missing my blush brush so. yeah. I'll show you in the email that I signed up to okay we'll go look over at the computer okay next is blush so get this red and custom color it too all right there's good okay now i'm going to show you i'm going to apply it to the apples of your cheeks so first of all i'm going to put Right here, push. We're going to add it to the apples of the cheeks. So when you smile, I'll show you that. You just like right there, and right there. And then you blend it out. It won't look that harsh, okay? I'm just showing you. So you blend that out. 
blend it like this, see? Blend. Blend it. And then you get a nice blend. Here. And all the way down. So that's the blush. Okay, let's go ahead and apply that to you. Okay, so... Going to get... makeup I'm using on you is brand new and you can keep it. That's part of the class here. So you're gonna take, I think this blush would look amazing on you. So I'm going to take the blush brush. gonna do the apples of the cheeks so with smile right blend it in not too much you don't want to look like a clown but if you do it was hard yeah. it can be intimidating but really it's just practice like anything okay so the last thing that we're going to do is lips you're right so to get my go ahead and show you the brushes your lip brush This little thing right here. And to apply just a little. Let's see if you can sneak over the computer now. Okay, now we are ready for the last thing. And that will be, um, lips. Mm, I picked a different color. I'll edit that color down to... a different color. Okay, so... go ahead. So you know, probably know where the lips go. Just apply it right there on your lips. You can also apply lip gloss and our advanced stage gloss you will, we will be playing with lip liner. There you go. Okay, so we have went over the lips and I will apply it to you, but just to go over this real quick. Just to go over what we went over, we went over the eyes, the lid, the crease, and the highlight. We went over the foundation, and the blush, and the lips. Okay, 
I will email you a diagram on this, okay? Okay, so that brush. To go ahead. neutral color kind of trying to keep it simple they're so loud around here okay okay oh, can I not want to fill it it's just simple would you like some lip gloss? No. Let's go ahead and get me some lip gloss. Right here. Got makeup on me. Okay. Go ahead and look through here and tell me what you like. We're missing anything. We did the eyes and the lips and the blush, the foundation. So I think we covered everything. So go ahead and So if you want to purchase anything, you want to sample the foundation, that's a good idea. I'm going to put an order in, so. Yes, it's the beige color. You're in the 300. Oh, that's that's a good question yes in, in the summer when you get a little bit tanner you might need a shade darker so I can give you a sample of a shade darker
I think you look very good. And if you need me I'll also send you an email and it will have um, tips for your makeup yeah let me get your email address